Hey what's going on guys, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to check out Brand Mentions, which is an automation tool that's going to search for anyone who's talking about you or your company. Why would you use this? In a use case, I would like to know anyone who's been talking about me, good or bad, especially if they're talking bad about me, because I want to be aware of what's going on. Hey, maybe I messed up in something, maybe there's a complaint, and I want to uh, reach out to that person and help out and see what's going on so it doesn't escalate, so it doesn't go viral. That's just like a quick uh, example of what could happen. Okay, so this is Brand Mentions. This is our main site. If you guys want to head on over there, the link is going to be in the description. So feature and use cases, I just want to show you really quick. Quick Competitor spine, which we're actually going to show you right now. Brand monitoring, reputation management, media monitoring, and business intelligence. So let's head on over to our dashboard for Brand Mention, and I'm going to set up a brand new company. So let's set up new project up there. So here in project, we're going to search for a company in this case. Let's go and search for it. PB Media, continue. What is my website? It's there, my Facebook page. Whoops, my Facebook page. Okay, and my Twitter profile. Here it is also, and continue. So where is my company based in? So I don't do like a worldwide search if I don't need to. So mine is Mexico, click on it, Spanish is that language, click on it and start project. So it's searching around. So like I said, this is a good option if you guys want to know what's going on. Now let's just take for example, like big companies like Colgate, uh, Coca-Cola, Ford, uh, you know, all these brands, Mercedes, they want to know exactly what's going on in social media. Do you think they have a thousand people just searching around the internet to see what they find? No, they have tools like these so they know what's going on. So it makes it more easier. In, in this case, I don't have any mentions on this one. So let's head on over to this one right here. So this is my name right there. And you can see mentions. Now it's gonna find more people. It's kind of harder to get uh, this, but you have to work on it so it finds less people that are not relevant to you, that are not you. So once you have set it up, it's going to show you what they're actually talking about. There you go. Now I've set up these keywords and these keywords, we can set them up right here. Project settings. So in these project settings, I added these keywords. Sorry. So they find them. This is where, where you add your keywords, the required keywords. If you want to make it a little bit more robust and make easy, make it harder for to search other people and not you. Next thing you can add is your, your website to help out the filtering. And then you got quality filter, real-time monitoring, and this is, these are options depending on the package that you have. I can't activate it because I don't have that package. Next thing, like I said, you can create your language and country, add your social media accounts if you didn't do it before, and where do you want to find the mentions? And you can check web, uh, web, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and you save it. If you're not interested in, in checking out one of these, you just take it off, it's super easy. There's extra mention and resources, tracking pixel, notifications, manage tags, manage filters, and all this good stuff that you can start working on. Now, one of the cool things, or one of the cool tools I've actually found in Brand Mentions is this right here, Quick Research. This is one of the ones, this is my favorite, I could say, because I can find my competitors and see what people are talking about them. I mean, people are just like super happy with their product, or are they mad? I can find that niche where I can just put my way into there and, and make my brand even better. So in this case, let's put a controversial company like Coca-Cola. Okay, there we go. Selected. And do you want to search? Same thing. Worldwide, United States. In this case, we do US. Any language? No. English. And you can search last week, 24 hours, or last month. Last week is okay. Search. And it's extracting mentions. So it's searched for 23 mentions on these on 23 social media. And you can see, and we can check out uh, never before seen footage. There's it's reaching more mentions, 246. So it's still searching. We can see down there the search bar. Since Coca-Cola is a super huge company and people are talking it like crazy, there's there's gonna be a lot of topics found here. So what what I would do, for example, for Coca-Cola, I would just search around, see if people are are talking about good things or bad things. 
So let's see, new drink packages, never seen before, footage, drinkers, go drinks. Give me a second, trying to find something that's like controversial. <laughs> uh, no, they got like a big campaign, like a never, so, never before seen footage thing right now. But yeah, what you would do is search if there's something controversial about this Coca-Cola company. Last 24 hours, so it minimizes. So if I find something controversial, I can reach out to that person and try to solve what's going on. I mean, is it something good or bad? Can I solve it? Is it something just crazy that I can't do nothing about it and just leave it alone? So it's just going to depend on you, what you do with this brand and mention that they're doing. So, all right, guys, it's a pretty cool tool that you guys can have. It's like I said, it's going to be over here. The link is going to be in the description or you can head on over to brandmentions.com and you can open up, open up your account if you feel that you need this for your company. So if your company is going through a lot of social media posts and people are talking about it a bunch and you just can't have time to search around to see who's talking about you, this is a great tool to have. Okay, guys, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. See you guys later.